Well, coming up on today's When Money Goes on Mission podcast, I'm with Rob, and we're kind of introducing a, a little transition the podcast is taking. Uh, right, Rob? Uh, well, I think you would call it that. Yeah. So what started out as a podcast in which Rob was interviewing uh, leaders in the missions field or doing some of his own whiteboard sessions has now transitioned into massive Zoom sessions with multiple missionaries from all over the world. But why don't you introduce it a little bit for us, Rob? Well, um, with the advent of COVID, uh, I was uh, forced to, well, just all sorts of associations. I was, te I was going to be teaching at a, at a major event in Europe called the European Leadership Forum. I had some workshops I was going to do there on the book and some introductory sessions. It got canceled. We mm -hmm. had to go to online format in a big scramble. Patrick took a big part of helping us produce that and getting everything ready. Uh, Bev Martin, my wife and collaborator, uh, prepared a curriculum and we started teaching and all of a sudden it caught on. And so we've been taking the content of the book and now teaching it in a number of Zoom sessions to um, real world missional entrepreneurs working through the kinds of issues uh, that we're going through uh, that we're uh, discussing. And in this case, we've got a, um, an interactive set of Zoom sessions uh that should prove interesting uh to anyone trying to uh think about how to build their organization do some fundraising and get started in sustained interdependence now we've partnered with bgu and brad on this do you want to introduce those two entities and kind of talk about how that's been going yes bgu stands for baki graduate university it's a um it's a um, university that provides uh, graduate degrees, PhDs, to working professionals around the world. It's an accredited um, degree here in the United States. And, um, and I've been uh, teaching some of these materials to cohorts off and on over the last few years. They have a, um, a contract with the World Evangelical Alliance, this 160-year-old organization with 150 national alliance movements to begin teaching the leadership of their national alliances a little bit more about organizational development, fundraising to strengthen those alliances, to be able to better represent their constituencies, that is the churches and Christian non-government organizations and, and others in their settings, some of which is, as you will see from the people we are gonna be talking with, are in the pretty, um, difficult situation. So they have formed a partnership with the First Fruit Institute, Baki Graduate University, and the World Evangelical Alliance for something called the Global Institute of Leadership. And so most of the podcasts you'll be listening, uh, most of the Zooms uh, that we're turning into podcasts that you'll be uh, participating or uh, observing uh, will be um, from that format and brad i think brad i Smith's stumbled been, my way through that yeah, you, you did way. you did good yeah we, we wanted to record this episode so no one gets blindsided on like what's coming yeah next. Like, well i'd like to was introduce this brad yeah too. then introduce brad because he's been incredible and uh dr um brad smith uh the director of baki graduate university former director of the leadership institute here in the uh, leadership network in the united states is an outstanding educator and um, and just a full on lover of mission and um, and has um, built a uh, he and the faculty of BGU they built a really interesting uh, institution of higher learning so yeah, it's uh, great to be participating with them and First Fruit is very happy to be a part of their team. Absolutely. And he's, you know, also a top wrangler of uh, international missions experts uh, from every corner of the globe. So, you know, prior to these sessions, you could say this podcast, I mean, yes, it's an audio podcast. Yes, there's videos was was not unlike online learning, right? Of which here in the yeah. Western world, there's a whole bunch of different providers of these, these various different types of courses, you can go on and get a course or anything. There's masterclass, there's Kajabi, there's lynda.com, there's there's a myriad of these educational programs. 
what's been really interesting about the stats on those across the board is only about 30% of the people that pay for them ever actually finish the class, right? So it's incredibly low and learning in a vacuum is difficult. Learning in a vacuum without one-on-one -on -one teaching is difficult and without any peer interaction is difficult. So th these sessions um, that we're gonna start releasing on the podcast sort of take the, on the, the parts that are great about the online education and then it provides these additional levels. Uh, Brad is, has managed to bring in missionaries literally from every, every continent, every corner of the globe, um, all to, to talk about the teachings that Rob's giving from the book, uh, talk about their experiences, talk about what they're struggling with in their missions, what they need to take their next steps. And so we think it's a really interesting learning environment. Now, some of these Zoom sessions have gone on three and a half hours. So probably, <laughs> probably a little bit longer than <laughs> what would be the ideal session uh, uh, for podcast listening, some light podcast listening. So we're going to kind of edit and hack and chop up these various different episodes into some smaller segments. Some might be as short as five to seven minutes. Some might be an hour, some might be an hour and a half. You'll hear from Rob, you'll hear from Brad, and then you're going to hear from missionaries all over the world. And we're still experimenting with it, but we're really enjoying the content that we're getting out of it. We hope you're going to enjoy the content uh, that, that comes out of it. So wanted to just sort of record this introduction to let you know what's going to be coming. They'll be following this episode. Um, if you're following things, um, you know, why am I blanking and on the word? You know, in order. Uh, just one last thing on that, mm -hmm. Patrick, is as you were saying that, when I first started out in this work so many years ago, I was one of those people that came out of another field and was suddenly thrust into a mission leadership position. I was running a little rescue mission, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, a small little mission at, at, at the time. But for me, it was an overwhelming job. I had no idea of what I was doing. Uh, I would have died for the kind of interaction uh, that we're having with this group. Uh, I, I would have found myself in many of the problems we're dealing with. So if you're like I was then, uh, kind of new to your leadership or new to this idea of taking on fundraising, you're going to meet a lot of people just like you working in circumstances uh, as tough as any Christian faces in leadership in the world. And, uh, and, and you're going to be encouraged by their stories and their struggles. And um, it's a real actual peer learning environment. And so I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it. Yeah, it's, it's going to be incredible. And we're still learning as we go. And it's, it's been really right. fun. And we might, we might run some of our own uh, with a first root email list. So you can, you can look for future emails on that. And as a final, I would say, make sure to book, bookmark the website. I mean, you might be listening to the podcast or you might be listening to it on YouTube. On the website, there's various different presentations, uh, outlines, question sheets, often some, some assets uh, that, that have to do with the Zoom session in question. So to the extent that those are relevant, we'll be putting those in the post. You can download them. Um, the teaching's free to use in any way that you see fit uh, in your ministry, wherever it may be. And I think to close things out, um, at the end you know, of- No, on that point, Patrick, uh, just yeah. before you close things out, forget, yeah. uh, uh, when, when he said you're free to use the information, we mm -hmm. actually want, we consider all of this to be seeds. Yes, and we want to see it blossom in your garden, uh, literally. Great so, way of saying it. Great way of uh, saying it. Take it if if somebody says it was good and helpful, and you want to give us credit, great. If you want to take all the credit, great. Yep. Uh, if it's if it's <laughs> we, terrible, we if it's less. terrible, definitely don't cite the author. He doesn't want to be attached <laughs> yeah. to it. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you know the 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 point is is it's really just uh, common grace and common sense. And, uh, and that's why the peer learning environment is, 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 is so fun here and, um, and instructive. And so this is a, we're really working towards a communion of giving and receiving in a place where we share what we know and you share what you know, and we all grow together. Yeah. So before I close out, one other final statement is, Bear with us a little bit on audio quality. I mean, on some of these sessions, there are people from North America, people from South America, people from Europe, people from Asia, uh, spread all out all over the place. A lot of times the internet connection, not so good, you know? So sometimes the audio goes a little, a, a little warped, but we're gonna do our best to clean it up, uh, give you the best and most relevant parts. 
So on that note, Rob, uh, there was an outro that you did from the first session where Brad kind of introduced the concept and then you said some words on it that I think be a perfect way to see us out. So thanks for your time and we will go ahead and shift over to that outro and then see you on the, uh, the Zoom sessions. Rob, let's just consider this as kind of an introduction. It's a chance for advanced uh, leaders around the world to meet each other, to hear the beginning of the conversation. Um, as we continue to do training, we're going to have you are going to be doing fundraising one on one training with a different audience uh, and just responding to that. Patrick will be filming that and that's available for anybody to use in their own training. Obviously, the Global Institute of Leadership will use that as their content. One of the things that we've discovered is that for somebody to really be able to do good fundraising, uh, it is something that they have to be in a team and they have to have coaching. And I know you're going to be available for coaching and all of us that think we can do it on our own. It's just a difficult task that uh, we don't, we don't have the joy in it uh, that is really designed to be. And so that will be the emphasis of the, the global Institute of leadership is to do coaching. And a lot of the people will be asking to coach, obviously Ryan, is already signed up to do that, but we'll be asking others to do that as well. Um, but that's gonna, this is the tools that you're providing, your book is providing, um, and really this whole uh, video uh, uh, podcast is designed to help add energy, stories, people, contextualize to your book. And uh, the folks here on this, this call here will be probably people I'm assuming you'll invite back for individual conversations, uh, mm -hmm. because a lot of them have wisdom and. This was perhaps a good introduction to the project and uh, for introduction to each other. So I'll stop at that point. And uh, Rob, why don't you finish it up with your vision and we'll let people go and then we can kind of hang out and have any conversations if people have time. Well, just uh, it's been a real privilege to sit with you all uh, for this time. Uh, many of you are my heroes and I'm meeting some new people today and it's just, uh, it's just a thrill to, uh, uh, it, you know, if we've ever needed a time, this particular podcast, no matter when it's listened to years from now, if it somehow shows up somewhere or now we're in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis. And if there's ever been a real example of how we're all in this together, there's never been anything in my lifetime like this where virtually we're all in this together. We're all in uh, uh, shutdown situations. Uh, death is stalking around like the night of Passover, uh, the original Passover, uh, past our door uh, 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 frames. And we're all looking at that. And, and in the midst of this, here we are discussing how to expand God's work how to be a part of that and how to do it in such a way that we are utterly dependent on him, utterly dependent on each other and, um, and able to give our, our, our best effort. And um, so that's what we're all about here. There is so much more we could uh, get into conversation with and, um, as Brad said, uh, I'm doing a series of podcasts, which this will uh, uh, be a one for for the book. And I've already had Kande and Zenit uh, from this group on, and I'd love to have more. So uh, we'll look at that in the in the future. And uh, and just thank you, everyone. Thank you for your time.